a big, big uh, team effort. You know, uh, it's a great team we're, we're playing against. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's and they're a really good fourth quarter team. So for us to go out there and you know have a chance in the fourth, uh, late in the fourth to win a game, we just couldn't grab the rebound and you know could could went on the other way if we grab the rebound. So uh, great effort from the guys and just uh, staying with the game, uh, trusting each other, and trusting coaches, and good team effort. Uh, yeah, just like simple things, uh, what I could do a little better. And uh, I just trying to listen as much as I, I can. You know, I, uh, usually it really helps, helps me for like uh, spacing and where to be and uh, just uh, uh, help the team overall, you know, and they just tell me what I learned from those guys basically this three years. So uh, I just stay listening to them and it really helps me throughout the games. Tell James, first question, the way you were battling, you guys were battling, and you were running. Show me a little bit of what you can't do. Yes, yes, we just, uh, we have a lot of people out, uh, a lot of starting guys and uh, a lot of important people. So it just, you know, next man, uh, just staying ready, everybody just being hungry to get the win. And it's, what Indiana, you know, basketball is all about being tough, tough, uh, you know, compete on a high level and just go on there and do 100 percent. You know, when you finish the game, that uh, you know that you do, you did 100 percent and you just put everything out there. So it's a great group of guys and really competitive guys. What happened in the first quarter? Uh, it's a great team, you know. Uh, at the at the half, you know, I'm sure. They uh, they look at the game, you know, so our defense and everything. So they have great great players who can read plays and who can make plays uh, down the stretch. Uh, uh, so uh, it's really hard to play great defense against them whole game. So they just uh, they're just gonna make shots and uh, that's what they did. Oh, it's huge, man. Uh, we, we just stay talking. We don't even need to talk. Like, we look at each other and we know what we got to do. And uh, it's, it's what, like, second game, basically third game together that we get a lot of minutes. So, uh, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, a short period of time. But uh, we are professional basketball players, so we got to really understand each other. And Chris is a great guy to play with. You know, he can read plays and uh, he can pass and just create uh, wide open shots for us. So, um, you know, more I play with Chris, uh, more, uh, you know, better we play as a, as a you know, uh, duo. Pat Boylan, go ahead. Goga, how would you describe the transition from not being in the rotation to playing a little bit in the G League to all of a sudden being thrust into the starting lineup, going against opposing teams' top bigs, and for you, um, ultimately having a fair amount of success doing it? Uh, just staying working, you know, uh, after games, after practices, uh, getting extra extra work in and just staying ahead of ahead of games and being in the being in the best shape as I can, you know, uh, without playing, it's really hard to stay in the game shape without playing the actual game. But as much as I can take care of my body, you know, sleeping well, uh, eating uh, good to uh, right food and just uh, listening, watching games, watching Doma smiles and what they're, you know, what I can do to help the team win. So from the sidelines, you know, it's hard, but you can learn a lot of things from there. So uh, for me, just to go out there and be tough, you know, be aggressive and be the game, you know, play the game. They are, you know, I've been playing for all my life.